guys, this is Marlene, and welcome to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle, and I'm super excited about today's video, uh, because this is not a normal Wi-Fi battle. I actually went to my very first VGC competition uh, thingy in my country, and um, I'm usually not really into VGC, but I thought I would try it for this generation, um, especially because breeding has been made a lot easier, and I went, and it was amazing. I had such a great time and even though I didn't make it to the top 8 or something, I still think I did pretty good for the first time and I I just had a really good time, really good battles and really good people. And I just wanted to share some of these battles with you. So this is the very first battle that I had at the VGC competition. And I just wanted to show you guys uh, this battle, it was round best of three, and this is the very first round of that. So, um, I'm going to show you guys that this guy had a Alakazam, an Arcanine, a Porygon, and a Wishy Washy. And my team had six Pokemon, of course, but I had to choose four, and um, consisted of, I think it was my Lotic Dragonite, Marowak, and Tapu Lele. So, usually people lead off with Tapu Lele, I usually do as well, but sometimes I like to keep it in the back and keep it a little bit of a secret. Um, but anyway, I lead off with my Lotic because he had an Arcanine, and usually they sent that in with an Intimidate, um, and that's a pretty good counter for a Arcanine, so I'm getting that delicious special attack boost gonna numb that all and um, he's going to go for a helping hand and did not expect that I thought he's going to burn my Dragonite's butt so um, I, I was planning to go for a substitute he's going to do a helping hand energy ball do you see how that does nothing yeah a sword fest actually really helps with some investment so um, <laughs> you can probably see later in, in the competition that I, I I do like my assault fest but anyway plus two school is easily going to take out that bulky arc and I'm not sure what kind of investment he had. Uh, but here comes Porygon 2. And Porygon 2 is going to take that multi-skill. And I didn't actually look at that. And I was wondering why a sudden attack didn't do that much on Porygon. And now I know why. <laughs> so I'm going to switch it to a shiny barrel work, which I accidentally bred. And I'm so excited about that one. Um, but anyway, he is going to do a Psyshock. On my Dragonite, kind of leaving it out in the open for that Porygon to do an Ice Beam on my face. Eh. Mm -mm -mm. He's got a Trick Room. Oh, that's not great. Mm. Well, Dragonite should say goodbye, but he doesn't really want to. So I'm going to switch out to my Lodic because my Lodic is an Assault Fest and doesn't... You know, he... Cold doesn't bother him anyway. So he's going to switch out that Alakazam into Wishy Washy. And I thought, you know, neither of the Pokemon that he had in... Now, maybe Alakazam would have killed me, but I figured that he would go uh, for the Molotic anyway. Um, so I decided to have, be a little bit risky and switch to the Marowak. Uh, went for the Shadow Bone to either kill off the Alakazam, but he switches out. Do not take him that to the level that he is out of his schooling form, which has made me a little bit sad. So I went for the Protect, um, kind of evading whatever comes at me. Um, I actually wasn't really sure if he was faster or not, or, you know, in the trick room. I don't know the speed tiers that well. <laughs> but anyway, he's going to go for that Z-move, and it was like, oh yeah, my Marowak is fully protected. But is he going to do that on my Milotic? I'm like, okay, you really want this thing dead, but he has Assault Fest, so that's not going to do that much, even though it's a Z-move. He's going to go for the Ice B, but then again, it's my Milotic. It's going to take that so well. So... Um, I went for the dragon until I'm not entirely sure why, but you know, it's 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 gone, you know, the wishy washy is gone. Anyway, it takes it does take him out to that that, that tasty um ninety percent down, so he's going to be the non schooling form uh, when it get the gets back in, so it won't be able to do anything, which is pretty great. Uh, I wanted to take out the Delicazam, but he um, is smart and goes for the protect. Went for the hydro pump and here was like how does that do nothing? Well, first of all, it's a Porygon, so stupid Marlene, come on, it's a Porygon. And he had the multi-skill ability that he traced from me. And I just didn't keep it in mind that much because no one runs that, everyone runs download. Also, I live that channel ball. Holy shit, that f I'm so uh, glad I got to hyper train this Pokemon because it had 
I didn't have max uh, IVs everywhere because I accidentally bred it. Uh, but I'm very glad that I did it because that made me live that move and kill the Alakazam. So that was great. So um, he can finally kill one of my Pokemon. Good job, um, Porygon. He was still my my Lotic is still there. How is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's still alive for some reason. I don't have any recovery. I don't have protect. I don't have substitute. It's just I'm just there. So he is going to protect um, on that wishy washy. I'm not even sure if I'm going to make a move on that wishy washy. I do know I'm going to substitute. Kind of scared of Porygon being a Porygon. Uh, oh right, I went for Hydro Pump on wishy washy. That's strange. Why did I do that? Mm. Might as well have tried to take out the Porygon a little bit more. But then again, I forgot about that multi-skills. Like, yeah, it's not going to do anything on a Porygon. It's probably going to be um, specially defensive, while most of them are physically defensive. So, I don't know what his set was, to be completely honest. But I wanted that thing kind of dead. But I still, I just, just want to have a little protect thing. Um, make sure to take out that wishy-washy, uh, do some damage on the Porygon and um, ha have a good time basically because I had time to do a protect get some get a good earthquake off because I don't get too many earthquakes in my battles and sometimes it is useful but it has split damage so it doesn't always do that much and he's going to ice beam my Dragonite he is, he's you now he's doing the substitute this is actually one of the few battles that Dragonite <laughs> works really well uh, I, oh by the way I'm just going to taunt that guy because they usually run Trick Room and Recover. Trick Room wouldn't be nice and Recover wouldn't be nice. Uh, also Protects. May I don't know why he would pr uh, pr have Protect, but you know, just in case. But I thought he was going to go for the Recover, so that's why I decided to stop him from doing that. Yeah, Taunt is a great move to have on fast Pokemon. So that's why I uh, usually lead off with Tapu Lele and have a Taunt. Uh, didn't actually lead off with him, but... I did have the taunt later on and it actually worked, so now comes my Z-move, um, which may be a little bit of overkill, well not really, I don't think I would have killed otherwise, but I could have killed him with both my Dragonite and my Tapu Lele, but I wanted that thing dead. Anyway, um, that was my first round and I was very happy with that round, um, of course I didn't make the perfect plays, but at least I won, so yay! Um, I'm probably going to upload the second round as well, um, to, to, you know, to show you guys how it goes, so if I win or if I lose, so um, hopefully um, you watch that as well, hopefully you like this video, um, I've been very excited to upload these, so uh, hopefully you can leave a comment down below what you think of these battles of VGC and all the kind of stuff and I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye!